Welcome back to Energy and Cleaning. Today I'm going to show you how to make your own all-natural multi-surface cleaner. I use this all around my house. It smells awesome. It cuts grease. It does exactly what it needs to. And the fun part about it is that you can jazz it up with whatever smell that you want to with ingredients that you probably already have laying around your house. Anything that I talk about here today will be linked in the description box below per usual. Now when you make any sort of multi-surface cleaner, we're going to add some essential oils here. It is best, it is recommended that you use an amber bottle like this because when the essential oils are exposed to light, much like hydrogen peroxide, they start to break down. But you all, I do both, and I haven't really noticed much of a difference in terms of the smell. Um, the effectiveness is just as good as if I had used this. But I do like these. It does make me feel like, like I'm doing what a, a good cleaner is supposed to be doing. And I have a ton of these bottles, like 500, just kidding, not that many. But I love these, and I'm not getting rid of them. And I just use my Cricut to make a personalized label like that. Here's what you'll need. Grab some filter water or distilled water. This is just filtered water from my refrigerator. And I am going to fill this up a good amount. The key here, we're going to add some vinegar to cut grease because it's acidic and it breaks grime away. But then we're also going to add some rubbing alcohol and I'll show you that here in a second. The reason that we want to add a little rubbing alcohol because it is an excellent disinfectant, especially if you leave it on the surface uh, for about 10 to 15 minutes or so. I'm spilling just a little bit right here. All right. So this is about how high we have it. And then we're gonna add some Castile soap. If you've never used this, I'll talk about this here in a second. This is excellent, non-toxic. Um, so when we are using the vinegar and the rubbing alcohol, we're gonna do equal parts. And I wanna do about a fourth a cup of each. So I just wanna make sure that the water is to the line that I want it to be. That's probably about good. So I'm gonna go ahead, go in with the vinegar. Again, I just got this at the Dollar Tree. Vinegar is awesome. Some things that you don't wanna use vinegar on are marble or granite or anything with a wax surface or coating because the because it's acidic, it will break that down. Oh boy, this is interesting one-handed, isn't it? Um, other than that, I haven't had any issues with vinegar. I clean with it with, around my house all the time. You're also not supposed to use vinegar on stainless steel, but I do not have stainless steel in this house. Uh, so I haven't run into that. So here we go. We got a rubbing alcohol. These two things in combination are like the perfect power house. You know what? This is probably the right amount in this bottle right here. Yes, that worked out perfectly. Fourth a cup, fourth a cup. And in here, I probably had uh, just under two, two cups. Okay, here we're gonna add some essential oils. Now, this is totally up to you of how potent and pungent that you want it to be. For me, I like it pungent, so I'm probably gonna add like a good 15 to 20 drops in here. If you wanna make this just a little bit easier on yourself, put everything on the beaker and then pour it into your glass bottle. That looks awesome and smells wonderful. This is a 16 ounce glass bottle, so I would use one and one fourth cup water, filtered or distilled fourth a cup of vinegar, fourth a cup of rubbing alcohol. The rubbing alcohol is not only excellent for disinfecting, but it's gonna help mix the oils and the water together. Now, our last ingredient, you don't have to do this, but I absolutely love this. I have used Dawn dish soap for this next step, but today, because I'm keeping it all natural, we're gonna go in with this cast steel soap. I'm just gonna add a couple drops here. You can see it makes this like nice, milky, just this wonderful concoction right here. We're gonna put the lid on. I'm gonna give it a good, vigorous shake. And I do this each time that I use the cleaner just to ensure that everything's mixed up when I go to clean the surface. Let's test it out, shall we? Got our microfiber towel here. I just did a whole video about how to properly wash these. So I can link that below if you're interested. And we're gonna turn this here. I love this. My kids even say, Mom, it smells so good in here like candy. Yes. All right, I have a ton of videos coming out where I'm gonna be using this to clean. I actually clean my entire bathroom with this as well because of the disinfecting properties and the vinegar and the grease cutting, grime cutting action and it smells wonderful. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up so that it can reach more people. Share it out to Facebook and Pinterest. Sign up for the weekly newsletter and I will see you, my friend, in the next one.